All right, everyone, we have the latest dragging of Kamala Harris' economic platform. It's a fairly sparse platform, mostly containing bullshit. And so now even the Wall Street Journal is dragging her. I'm going to read the title for Paytum because it's pretty funny. Uh, it's an opinion piece, but, you know, the, the editorial board clearly said, well, this piece can go up here. Uh, that's rather telling. The Times demands uh, serious economic ideas. Harris supplies gimmicks. Price gouging is not causing inflation, so why is the vice president promising to stamp it out? I would point out something else, and other people have pointed this out. I mean, people with an IQ that's above room temperature have noticed this. She is the current vice president of the United States. You've been part of the administration for years. Why haven't you made this proposal clear before? Biden has rambled about price gouging, which is not actually happening at all. What happened is that the economy got cooked. Um, you had a bump in inflation under Trump, actually, because of his, uh, his rescue plan. Uh, it was made necessary, although it never should have been made necessary, and it's like, uh, it still was a bad idea overall, the, uh, the lockdown period. Uh, but under Biden, you have trillions and trillions of additional spending. The economy got overcooked. And so naturally, inflation kicked in. Uh, the price of goods went up well ahead of wages. By the way, I love when they say, well, wages are now pacing inflation. Okay, they have to outpace the growth in inflation for like the next year or so in order to reabsorb just the damage that's been done. And that's probably underestimating how long that would have to happen. I like when they say that inflation uh, is, is gone. It's no longer a problem. The total inflation of the U.S. economy over the course of the last few years is over 20%. Now, have your wages grown? Did you, did you get a raise? Like, let's say you make 50K a year. Are you making 60, 70K a year now? Because that's about keeping pace with it. For most people, the answer is no. Uh, that's just the long and short of it. This is why I'm investing more in silver and so forth. Um, Harris is a communist. Um, a legit communist. Donald Trump the other day uh, actually tweeting out a meme of her at the uh, convention, which starts tomorrow, and we're expecting mass protests. I'll be covering that separately uh, with her with a huge communist flag in front of her and shit like that. And it was uh, rather funny. I see that the Krasensteins have mainly returned to being Trump reply guys, by the way, at this time. Oh, they're McLovin' it. They're, they're, they, uh, they benefit even more than the average Trump fan from his presence returning to Twitter, by the way. She's got a problem here, which is that the things that she iterated that she wanted to do economically largely are being, are being discredited, even by the legacy media that she refuses to talk to, even though the, can the administration and campaign coordinate directly with them. She just simply doesn't want to go out in public and have to explain herself too much because she always starts cackling. Um, she's optically poor, strategically useless, and fucking pathetic mentally, uh, which is why she's making such proposals. One of those proposals would lead to a housing bubble. Another one of those proposals um, is, is basically a watered-down version of what Trump and Vance are offering. The only good idea on the table is expanding the child tax credit. She's trying to lowball you on it. Basically, unless your kid dies in its first year of life, you save more money long term with Trump in advance by uh, doubling the child tax credit. She's trying to give you uh, a big upfront total that the legacy media claims is going to be every year, even though that's not the actual claim. It falls to uh, uh, 3600 a month, I mean a year thereafter. Um, so, so, I mean, the economic proposals here don't make any sense. Price caps again. The idea of capping grocery prices is such a catastrophically bad idea that at this point, anyone still supporting the campaign, you have to be economically illiterate. I don't think that some of these people understand the damage that that would do to the U.S. economy. Uh, not allowing free market forces generally to prevail in a market is going to cause a huge problem. Uh, again, mega corporations, they'll absorb the loss for a few years. They can do that. They're perfectly fine. They'll slowly gobble up more of the market share as smaller competitors that can't weather those economic uh, uh, regulations wither and die. So before, you had five grocery stores in the town. There was, the, you know, the box store, the big one that's run by a multinational corporation, and then some, uh, maybe a couple of regional chains, some ma and pa, maybe the co-op and stuff like that. Well, now the price has been capped. What's the overhead for those smaller businesses? It's going to be worse. 
Um, the regulation will disproportionately affect them. What, you're, what Kamal is basically proposing here is destroying the regional and, and small business chains um, in favor of mega corporations. They're the only ones that are going to be able to survive. It sounds a little bit like creating a state-run grocery system. Hmm. Oh, where else was that done? Oh, the Soviet Union. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of uh, there was price caps there too. Uh, the comparison is actually apt. Um, it, it is real. Uh, some people are saying, "Well, you're just being hyperbolic." And Kamala is not really a communist, standard liberal. This is a communistic proposal, and so if somebody's making a communistic proposal, they may have certain political leanings that we can't necessarily ignore. That's the long and short of it with this one. And that's just one of the bad ideas. Again, giving $25,000 to first home time home buyers sounds good on paper. The hope is that the people that are buying those homes are going to be able to pay their mortgage. But we've seen that that's not actually what happens. People who should not be purchasing a home, who are not in the socioeconomic echelon in which they can make the payments, will take the money they'll begin making payments, they'll lapse, and you'll end up with foreclosure. That's what's going to happen. Then down the road, the government has to choose whether to bail people out for their own poor decision-making or whether to let them hang in the wind, basically. Under uh, Obama with the Great Recession, they were left to hang in the wind. It was the banks and the automotive industry that got bailed out, of course. Uh, they didn't really do anything for uh, homeowners. Um, there was a time when a good 15-20% of all the homes, for example, in parts of Rutland, were, were up for auction, foreclosed, etc. Had liens on them and things like that. Um, her economic policies are one of the most horrendous that I've ever seen. It makes Biden look sane. It's like, hmm, maybe I, all those years when I was being kind of facetious and I said, you know, I mean, I'm going to pray for Biden every night for his good health because Kamala frightens me. Maybe it wasn't really hyperbole after all. Maybe it was just having a sixth sense. She fucking scares me. She's a goddamn psycho. And she has no idea what she's talking about with regards to economic policy. And she wants to uh, crash down your door at 4 a.m. to steal your firearms. Well, that's, that's fascistic and communistic at the same time. She's managed to mesh two of the worst aspects that you could possibly uh, mesh together. A far-left economic platform with an extremely authoritarian moral platform. When you're on the left and an extreme authoritarian, that puts you in, in the little red box now, doesn't it? She's a goddamn communist, or at the very least a hardline socialist. She's no progressive. There's no progress to be had with such a campaign. Where's the progress? Uh, uh, abusing people, ignoring the border, being part of an administration that can't balance a budget? cooking the economy some more while at the same time creating a housing bubble? Uh, where's the progress here? Doesn't sound like it. The only thing that they have is id poll at this point. They say, well, she's, she's a woman, woman, woman. There was a famous video, a meme video during the 2016 campaign. It was like a song where Hillary Clinton just rambles about being a woman and it was, you know, chopped and screwed, of course. It was remixed. Uh, they should do that for Kamala Harris. I'm sure you've got enough clips to do that, by the way. That's about all. Peace out.